Okay, TikTok, we are live officially, and I am going to do a collective love reading tonight for anyone who is interested, for anyone who um, take these messages and receive them. If they resonate for you, awesome. If the message doesn't flow, just let it go. It's not a big deal. It's not gonna be for everybody. Um, I will also be uploading this live over onto my YouTube channel later on so my YouTube people can also have the chance to receive this collective love reading tonight. So hi to everyone on YouTube as well because you will be seeing this eventually. And same thing, if the message doesn't flow, let it go. If it resonates, you will definitely know, but otherwise just kind of sit back, relax, enjoy the message as it comes in. Um, if you are someone who does check this out later on on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe, that you hit that notification bell and um, all that good stuff. But anyways, I see people are starting to come in, so I'm gonna get started on this love reading right now and let's see what comes through for you guys. So, um, I'm going to start off here, actually, before I totally deep dive into it, I want to pull for you guys a card from, I just got to grab it out, just give me a second, I'm going to grab a card from the Pegasus Oracle, just to kind of get us warmed up, to get us kind of started out here today. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a card from the Pegasus Oracle. And it's just gonna be an overall kind of message, overall vibe of what we need to know the most. I'm setting the intention to be for the week, for this week. I know it's already Tuesday, but you know, let's just say it's from you know Tuesday night till Tuesday night next week, almost Thanksgiving. So we're gonna start off with that just to kind of warm us up. And then we'll deep dive into the love stuff. And if you guys enjoy this reading, if these messages resonate for you, um, give this uh, screen a tap. Give the screen a tap and send me some likes because if you're able to do that, then um, it puts me out there a little bit more on the TikTok algorithm and more people will be able to see this and enjoy this reading with us. So. Let's see what we get here. What do we need to know from the Pegasus Oracle for this week? What do we need to know? It's taking a minute for the message to come through. So, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are and I, I don't go live with people who I don't know, uh, but you're, you're welcome to stay and enjoy the reading, of course. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of my own personal boundary that I set. I don't go live with people that I don't know, at least not at, at this point in time in my world on TikTok. Maybe someday they'll change, but today's not that day. <laughs> but either way, you're welcome to stick around. I appreciate you being here. And, uh, just waiting for one of these cards to drop. And just fall out. Come on, Pegasus. Give us a, a message for the day, or the week, I should say. And if it doesn't come through within the next second or two, I'm just gonna split the deck, and whatever we get is what we're gonna get, because I know people wanna hear, what is it that I need to know? What is the good stuff? And I'm sure that there is good stuff to know. So, okay. One last shuffle, and let's split the deck. And you guys got number 20, Mandala of Pegasus. Looks very fiery. It looks like twin Pegasus, actually. It's almost like Gemini vibes, in a sense. Um, so let me go to the book really quick and refer to this. Let's find out what the Mandala of Pegasus is all about. So let me just get the book here number 20 and we'll see what we got all right mandala of pegasus mandala of pegasus this is what you find out 
Pegasus beloved wisdom guide and healer of the soul reminds you that you belong to a beautiful divine plan that is unfolding at all times. Even if your life sometimes seems devoid of spiritual blessings, there is always a deeper guiding purpose at play, always an opportunity to heal the past and become free. In time, you will understand how the universe is working to your benefit. You are asked to relax, even when you do not understand what is happening. Instead of reacting, remain present and curious, knowing whatever is occurring cannot harm you. You will find the wisdom and the beauty, the healing way, and the mysteries of life will transform and reveal themselves as blessings. That which seemed to defeat you shall become the stepping stone toward your healing triumph. Very cool. I'm like, what is that? The screen just went all crazy on me. Um, <laughs> anyways, hello, hello. Uh, oh, thank, thank you for the uh, likes. I definitely appreciate that. That's going to help me get seen here on TikTok. And, uh, you know, that's that's what we want to. It's more people to be able to come in and, and join us and be able to receive this, this message. So anyways, um, I'm reading from the Pegasus Oracle. Um, if you're just tuning in, the Mandala of Pegasus card is our card for the week. So we're basically setting our intention here with this card. Um, for the next upcoming week. There's more to learn though here, so I'm gonna continue reading from this passage. A cosmic connection or soul contract is unfolding. Isn't that crazy, a soul contract? And I set the intention for tonight's reading to be a love reading specifically. So we're clearly in the right direction here. We're in the right flow. It is predestined, intended to assist your spiritual development. Oh, is that not the truth? Not to get off course from the book, because I'm going to finish reading our little definition here of the Mandala uh, Pegasus. But I just had a conversation with a friend earlier tonight, kind of about like the whole twin flame thing, and obviously how it can be absolutely maddening, right? Um, but it, it is ultimately meant to assist with our spiritual development. I mean, I would not be sitting here on TikTok doing reading as doing any of this kind of stuff, which ultimately I do because I want to help others and I care about others is what it comes down to. So that's why I do this. And anyone else who is going through a similar kind of journey, they may not necessarily be led to do this, but chances are it's leading you to rise up and become like the best version of yourself in the long run. That's kind of the purpose of those connections. But anyways, I'm getting into a separate tangent now. I'm gonna finish reading this. Um, okay, where was I? Difficult early stages will give way to success as the full pattern of soul creativity and divine intention is revealed. You do not need to anticipate or direct what will happen participate in life and you will heal through the process and your soul creations will continue to manifest it may not always be easy but this opportunity for healing and growth will help you understand your divine purpose keep following your star for all that is coming together according to a greater plan this loving divine mandala is a portal into positivity. You can meditate upon the image and gain spiritual healing transmission. Put your faith in the power of the positive. And that's really hard to do because, you know, like the world that we live in, it gives us every reason not to believe, not to trust, not to have faith, to just be negative. And it's easier to be negative. It's easier to think badly about a situation than, than in a positive light. I mean, even with smaller things, like, like for example, I mean, this is just practical everyday stuff, right? So next month, I have a dentist appointment 
and I have a, a long history of dental anxiety. And, you know, I mean, my, my teeth are generally fine. I mean, I have some tooth sensitivity every once in a while, but it's not like I'm in any kind of major pain where I'm like, I know I have a cavity or something like that. But I always get so much anxiety before going to the dentist and I shouldn't. Like, it's a good thing. It's a good positive thing to go to the dentist, right? Because they clean your teeth and they take the x-rays and they make sure everything is healthy and good. And even if something isn't right, it's an opportunity to heal that tooth and to clean things up and to make things better, right? Well, thank you. I, I appreciate that, that I go to the dentist stay pretty right I mean that's that's the whole point um but yeah you know um like I always get so nervous though and I wind up looking at the negative side and I wind up stressing out thinking like oh I'm gonna have cavities and they're gonna tell me I have to get a root canal and like totally blowing things way out of proportion right and that's just one so small example, but we do that with so many different things in life, especially in our relationships, especially in our most intimate relationships too. You know, we have insecurities and those insecurities can develop from previous relationships we've been in or friendships or family situations or whatever the case may be where people have hurt us and we have lost that trust. Um, those are all areas that need to be healed and need to be worked through. And kind of going back into the twin flame thing here, because it is talking about soul contracts and spiritual development and all the other kind of stuff. I mean, before I even read any of those things, I, I did kind of mention here, you know, we got the two Pegasus on this card. It is kind of like twin flames. It looks kind of like fiery and and it's like a hot background and we we got the two pegasus here so i do think we're definitely tapping into some uh twin flame partnership kind of energy you're a taurus so you can be overthinking yeah i mean i don't think any sign is exempt from that i'm a libra so i mean i definitely do it too i don't think i know anyone who doesn't <laughs> but um yeah it's not fun i think being a taurus though the biggest issue for you is probably just the fact that you're so stubborn and set in your ways with the overthinking. You're like, no, I'm not going to stop. <laughs> Even though you, you know deep down you probably should. Um, but yeah, it's that stubborn bowl of the Taurus. Um, so there is like a little affirmation here. So I'm just going to recite this affirmation and you can feel free to receive this affirmation. Uh, connected with this particular Pegasus card. And it says, Beloved Pegasus of the Mandala of Life, I honor and enlightened, I honored the enlightened wisdom that knows how to bring every being to loving spiritual fruition. I relax and I attract all I need for creative fulfillment on all levels. I choose to align myself with a positive attitude believing that the universe always has my best and highest interests at heart for the spiritual benefit of all beings. So that is definitely pretty cool. Um, let's see, Coco Khan, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know you. I don't go live with people that I don't know, not at least right now, but I, I appreciate the invite. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see. So that is our Pegasus card. I'm just gonna move these Pegasus to the side. And now I'm gonna get into the really juicy stuff here and get into the actual love reading portion of tonight's live. And we'll see what we need to know. All right. So I'm gonna be using the Sugar Love Rush Oracle deck. There's a lot of cards in here, so. <laughs> We'll see what comes through. I better hover over this table here because these cards are bound to go flying and who knows where they're gonna go. All right, so let's see. What does the collective need to know tonight in regards to their love life? Happening. What is going on? 
All right, we got, we got one, we got one. Thankfully my lap caught it before it hit the floor. Okay, so just so you guys know, every single one of these cards come with either a yes, no, or maybe attached to the message. Just kind of is almost like a, you know, red light, green light, yellow light kind of thing. So this one is a yes card. It says true love captured their heart, can't deny their love, a declaration of love. So we definitely have a soul connection coming in here tonight that is that is real, that is true. So, I mean, whether you guys are currently together or not, um, regardless of whatever other situations may be happening right now, uh, the, the love is real though. The emotions are real, the intentions are real, the motives are real. So that's a positive thing, that's a good thing. You know, we, we don't wanna start off with toxic karmic garbage wow they exist well they must exist um maybe they just haven't come into your life yet um but the way i see it is if you have the desire for partnership if you have the desire for that then like you weren't just given that desire to just burn up here on planet earth just constantly desiring and never receiving. I feel that that definitely means that there is somebody out there, that there is a connection for you. Um, you may not be aligned and ready for it yet. You do, but whoever he is, bless his heart. <laughs> yeah, well, we've, we've all been there, you know? Um, they, they got a lot to deal with with us, you know, but they can bring a lot of heartache too and stress themselves. So, all right, let's see what else we need to know here. The, the love is true. The love is real. That's a good start, but we want to know a little bit more context here, a little bit more context. Anything else here, please? All right. And don't forget to tap the screen, you guys, if you're enjoying the live. Uh, the more likes it gets, the more it gets out there onto the FYP so other people can join and receive from this message as well. Um, I'm also gonna be uploading this to YouTube at some point for my people over on YouTube so they can also receive from this collective reading. Whoa, there was like three in a row that just flipped out together. So, all right, we're, we're gonna take them. Oh, wow, we got two yeses and a no. Okay, so we're gonna look at the no card first. And thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, okay, <laughs> this is fun. Oh wait, I was looking at the wrong card. The no card I wanted to get into first. Chill out, recharge, taking time out, waiting things for cool. Okay. So this is, this is not necessarily a negative thing. I mean, this is just about kind of, yeah, just doing that, just chilling out, just taking a step back. Um, you know, sometimes we can have a connection with somebody and, you know, timing may be off. It may, be, it may not be the right time. It may not be the right place. It may not be the right season yet. Um, sometimes we try a little bit too hard to force something to happen or to, um, I don't want to say like manipulate something to happen, but to just kind of like try and maybe get things to go to a point that it's not quite ripe yet. It's not ready yet. So this is, I wouldn't say this is a no, like this is never going to work out. It's just kind of saying like, you need breathing room, just breathing room, you know? ebb and flow, ebb and flow, like with everything. And I, and that's for all kinds of relationships in our life. You know, we shouldn't be codependent. We shouldn't be just like um, constantly on top of our friends or constantly on top of our family. And we shouldn't constantly be on top of our person either. There should be time to just like take out for yourself and for them to take out for themselves as well. But we do have two yes cards. Um, this first one I think is funny because it says Target on there. And I myself literally went to Target just earlier today. Um, set on you, wanting to conquer, aiming at your heart. 
So, you know, once again, I feel like that energy is kind of going back to um, this true love energy. Like, obviously, you know, the love is real, the love is true, the love is genuine, and that is like the main focus here. That is like the main focus for this person and probably for you as well that you know like that's what you're drawn to is what it comes down to um so i mean that's really that's all really positive and i'm i'm definitely not the kind of person who will sit here and blow smoke up people's asses and just you know tell them like what they want to hear like oh this person loves you and like it's actually really bad but i mean these cards are pretty positive right now so we're going to roll with it. All right. This one is Castle. Prince Charming. Strong foundation. Sovereignty and wealth. Okay. What I really like about this card is strong foundation. Because you can have all the love in the world for somebody. And that doesn't matter at all if you don't have a solid foundation. Solid foundations are so important. And they're built upon communication. They're built upon... Um, understanding one another and being flexible with one another. Um, so that, that I feel like is super key here. Um, not necessarily like the Prince Charming thing. I mean, anyone can act like Prince Charming, but if you can like build a solid foundation, like that's a really good thing. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna follow up with in terms of that. That's just kind of like the overall energy of the situation right now. So right now, I kind of want to confirm from a yes or no angle the energy that's been coming in. Is this the energy of the significant other, of the person that basically we are connecting to that you are connected to? So is that is that what they're thinking? Is that what they're feeling at this time? Oh, something just flipped out. Come back here. I saw you. Where were you? Maybe. Okay. Well, we did get one no card, so maybe that's why. Um, oh, okay. Um, love shack. Sexual intentions, sexual encounters, taking you to their place. So the maybe card, I feel like that, like they're obviously attracted to you. Like that is without a doubt. Like there's passion here. There's physical chemistry. That much is totally true. Um, I think that's part of the reason why these solid foundations are so incredibly important because you don't just want like a Prince Charming who's gonna sweet talk you and take you to his castle and turn it into a love shack. We don't want that. We want someone who is actually gonna wanna build a life together with us and have longevity. So I feel like that's why we're getting the maybe card right now in terms of that being their intentions. But I do feel like it's overall positive. I think that there's some growth here that may need to happen on this person's end. So let's let's just confirm that. Does this other person, the person that they're connected to, do they need to grow a little bit? Are they growing into um, this energy of true love and uh, solid foundations and that kind of thing? Is Are they growing towards that? Is this a season of growing right now? Let's see what we get. Oh, something almost flipped out. Not quite. So we're going to keep going. Oh, okay. Well, that definitely came out. That's on the floor. So I got to go retrieve that now. Okay. Okay, so we got another maybe and we have a yes. So I'm gonna take that as an overall like, yeah, this is a season of growth right now for this person. They're growing into that person who can build the solid foundations. That's probably why we have that no card here in terms of you know taking time to chill out, taking time to step back. Uh, that's probably why that's there. So the maybe card says bumpy path will not be easy. Lots of ups and downs, your love will be tested. So that makes sense. I mean, that's basically the description of growth right there. Growth is a bumpy path. 
growth isn't easy. Growth isn't fun, you know? Um, it's a roller coaster ride is what it comes down to. So chances are if they're experiencing that, you're probably experiencing that too. Um, cause you know, it's, it's two in that partnership. Even if you guys are part, even if you're not communicating, even if there's nothing happening on any of those angles, like you guys are always going to be mirroring each other. Um, the yes card is panicking, desperate, afraid of losing you. Time is running out. So they do feel a little bit panicked here. I do almost kind of feel like part of them part of them does kind of want to just like rush and swoop in with like that Prince Charming energy and just kind of like be a Casanova in a sense. But that's almost like more of like that wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of energy, which nobody, once again, wants that. We want longevity here. We want solid foundations. Um, so they're, they're panicking because not only do they feel like they're going to run out of time, but they're also, I feel like they're panicking because their emotions are so strong and they do have to grow and they do have to... Um, get to this place where they can be a little bit more mature in how they handle that and how they express that and how they communicate that to you is what it comes down to. Um, so they're probably just very overwhelmed. Um, their feelings are probably bigger than what they can communicate with their words, almost like a, like a little child. Like if you think about like a toddler or something, kids have big, feelings they got big feels and if you have a toddler that doesn't know all of its words yet and doesn't know how to communicate um you know if they're upset because you know maybe their brother or their sister took their toy or you know whatever happened they're just going to start screaming and crying and you may not know what happened what went wrong but you kind of have to dissect and and understand and interpret through tears is what it comes down to but eventually that child does grow and they learn and they learn how to use their words and they learn how to communicate and I feel like that's what your person is kind of going through right now um so yeah that I mean that happens we've all kind of been there so yeah you, you, got, you got to give them patience and time with that is what it comes down to so that's kind of what's going on there um let's see Let's see about just kind of general energy towards where is this headed? Where is this going? Where is this going overall in the future? Where is this going? Let's see what we get here. And thank you so much for the likes. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate hanging out here with me for like most of the live so thank you like that means a lot I've really been trying to get my TikTok like up and back out there again um it was much more up and out there like back in 2020 when I would post a lot more often and then you know algorithms change and my life got busy with other things and now I'm trying to get back into things and you know there's like a ton of people on TikTok doing readings so <laughs> A lot of competition out there. So anyone who sticks around, I'm very, very appreciative. Like that means, it really does, it means a lot. So yay, hearts. It's hard to do hearts with uh, <laughs> cards in your hands, but yay. <laughs> oh, okay, we got two that just fell. Let's see where it's going. Let's see where it's going. All right. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, this de this definitely, um, ooh, interesting, interesting combination. Okay, so one of these cards, I don't feel like this necess, I'm gonna need to pull another one just to clarify one of these, but this one definitely confirms who these messages are coming in from. So we have the masculine coming through. Yes, masculine energy, your divine will play a role. So this is all the masculine energy that is coming through right now. That's just basically confirmation of that. And I have no idea who you three people are. 
that are like popping up that want to like join the live, but I'm I'm not inviting people into the live right now. I appreciate it, but I don't know who those people are. Um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this is definitely divine masculine energy coming through. Um, you know, they're basically speaking through the cards. Okay, so this one in terms of where is this headed? This is why I want to pull a clarifier because we have all this like overall positive good stuff. Granted, there's some growth that has to happen. But then all of a sudden we got a big fat no. Red flags. <laughs> Not in the clear. Proceed with caution. Don't ignore the red flags. <laughs> like that's not good. <laughs> like what the hell? We just had like all this good stuff come through and then bam, red flags. Like what? So I'm going to pull a clarifier for that one. Why are there red flags here? Are they just choosing not to grow? That's like, that's the best I can figure right now is if there are red flags here for the future in terms of how this person is going to be, maybe they would just rather choose to sit there and scream than learn how to use their words is what it comes down to. Going back to that toddler analogy. So let's see what we get here. Why is the red flag card here? Okay, we got two that flipped out. Okay, so we have a yes and we have a no card. So the no card says unawake. Oh, okay, well that explains a lot right there. Um, <laughs> sleeping on love, failing to notice the bond, unaware of their love. Okay, so this is definitely someone where it's like, I don't wanna say that they're what what is going on I'm doing a love reading right now um is what I'm doing so uh, I mean I'm I'm not going to go back to like all the other cards but ho hopefully it'll make sense um as I continue describing we just kind of like reader's digest version the first few cards that came out were like very positive about the energy of the person that we're tapping into right now we're tapping into um a masculine energy at this time and um, this person does want to build a solid foundation. This is true love. There, there is a lot of good things to this connection. However, we're also dealing with someone who needs to grow up a lot. They're probably not very emotionally mature. Um, like they have all these big feelings, but they don't necessarily how to handle it the right way. They don't necessarily know how to communicate it in a healthy way is what it comes down to, which is kind of where we're into now as to where this is gonna go down the line, at least in this present moment. I mean, once again, you guys always remember, readings are not written in stone. This is just tapping into the present energy based upon the track that this person is on. Kind of think of it in a weird way as like, Alice from Twilight. <laughs> I know it's a weird analogy, but she always had visions of the future. And whenever she had visions of the future, like they were never set in stone. They were determined based upon the track that someone was currently on. And that's, readings are no different. You know, it's based on the track that you're currently on. If you change your mindset, if you start living your life in a different way, whether it's for the positive or for the negative, that's gonna change the outcome of the reading. Um, so once again, this unaware card, uh, sleeping on love, failing to notice the bond, unaware of their love. So the love is there, and I do feel like they know it consciously, like they consciously are aware of this love. However, I don't think that they realize like how true it is, like how genuine it is, how it is like a deeper level love, how it's uh, like it's a soul connection, that it's, it's highly spiritual, because this card also says unawake. And someone who isn't awake, someone who really isn't like tapped in spiritually, like how are they going to be able to recognize a soul connection if in a sense they're not even really recognizing the soul that they have within themselves in a sense. Um, so that's kind of like where this is at. So once again, that does kind of go back into this whole thing of where there's a lot of growth that needs to come in. But we also have a yes card here with victory, successful outcome, overcoming obstacles, rewarded for your efforts. So this card tells me that it's it's gonna be a long road. 
I mean, we got these red flags and we got unawake coming through here first. So they're gonna have to work through their own personal red flags. It's like this person is the red flag right now. Them being unawake and unaware is the red flag. Um, like honestly, if you were to get involved with this person right now, it probably wouldn't be the healthiest connection, even though there's this deep soul connection, which is very much kind of how twin flames are. Um, you know, twin flames are this very deep, intense, true love, but 